Hey guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Uh, we're gonna learn Jane Says from Jane's Addiction right now. Uh, super classic, think you guys will dig it. Uh, also, thanks for supporting me at Marty Music right here. I appreciate you so much, uh, especially if you were to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification. Uh, also, if you're trying to get dig, dig deeper into learning guitar, check out uh, the description below for some uh, killer resources. All right, let's break it down. All right, we're gonna take a G chord. Uh, for this song, I prefer the G chord with the ring on the third of the B, pinky on the third of the high E there. And then we're gonna go up to an A chord and we wanna do the one finger A chord. So we can do a, which is going to be a fourth fret G while you're holding the chord. So four, two on the G, and then the same thing on the D. that, how that works. So you're holding with the index finger. If I just bar it down, now I'm not barring it across all of the second fret. I'm just kind of flattening it down there. And the high E is muted. I'm using my pinky instead of my ring finger, but you could use either one. I use my pinky because it helps me keep that bar down better. It needs more of my index finger stretch if I use my ring finger. So if I use my pinky, I can really lock that down and it's just easier for me to play. So that's the main part. Now the change, you could actually get by almost playing the identical part. Um, the bass line really holds a lot of the feeling of a change in this section. So I'm gonna show you a little in between, especially if you know a lot of people will play this solo and there's a way you can add a little oomph to the chorus. So it's a G and then an A7. And once again, I'm using that same technique as before, index finger A chord. But now I'm using my pinky on the third fret of the high E. And so what you get is you get a little sound of the change of this. Now the bass is going. I mean, a lower D than I than I have, uh, so it could also be. Oops, sorry. So. What you could do is you could add that second fret E string to match up with that bass line. And, and you're also hitting the open E, so.
And a lot of times with G, you can see uh, my index fingers up in the air, I'm noticing. Uh, I've been playing this this way a lot more lately, and it's just muting the A string. So you just get a really clean sounding G chord. It's basically a G5. Um, so if you notice that, but you can play one of the, there's two guitar parts. The, there's another guitar part that's playing the G that way. So just to keep in mind, you know, it's all, if you're just playing it by yourself, it's kind of a taste thing. But let's just, while we're here, let's play it from the top. One, two, three, four. They tune this down like five steps now when they play it live now. All right, let's go to the next part. enjoyed the lesson thank you again for hanging out uh, if there's anything you'd like to request uh, you can let me know in the comments below while you're down there I appreciate you uh, liking the video you know leaving a comment subscribing here to the channel checking out the links see you later take care